what is up guys welcome back to the channel i know it's been a minute and uh i don't want to keep making excuses but life just happens and you know we live through it and we just move on and uh i'm back what can i say so today is hopefully going to be a simple install as you guys can tell by the title we are going to be installing this carbon fiber steering wheel um I have all my tools at uh, the shop with my brother-in-law so we are going to be heading over there. all right guys so we're here at the shop already we're going to start uh so what you're going to want to do first before even messing with your steering wheel is unplug your battery so that the airbag won't like blow up on you and once you do that you should be ready to start uh, unscrewing the airbag it's going to be two uh, t30 hex screws on either side of it um, I have my T30 right here. Um, I'm literally just putting it into a socket and uh, I'm gonna ratchet it out. You're also gonna wanna make sure that your steering wheel is straight because the way it comes off is the way the new one's gonna go back in. All right, so after taking those two uh, hex screws out from the sides, <clears throat> you should be able to just pull this right out. You're gonna wanna be careful not to uh, pull any cords off. Right behind here, you will see uh, a ground plug up here and a plug down there. Well, two plugs down here. So you're gonna wanna unplug all those three very carefully. All right, now up next, what you're gonna want to have is a 10 millimeter um, Allen head, I guess. I literally just got this from AutoZone just cause I knew I was going to need it. All right, <clears throat> so you might wanna use like a breaker bar or at least like a big um, <clears throat> ratchet or something because you're going to need the leverage and <laughs> you're also going to need an extension so let me go get that all right got the extension and it's out all right so i'm gonna wiggle my steering wheel back to, uh, to have it straight again because i had to like basically lock it so here we are. That is straight. And now I'm just gonna wiggle it out like so. So there is a cable right here that is hooked with like uh just it just has a little hook right here on this gray trim piece. So you're gonna want to get that cable out before you pull it fully out. I'll open my video and shit. Better show some titty. Yeah, that's Yay! going on the channel, dog. That's going right on the channel, dog. I swear. Yeah, this is a bomb, bro. It is a bomb. Should I touch it with two? That's uh, that's actually a C5. Connect this to the negative and the positive. Connect it right now, fool, and then and then punch it. Nah. This move. All right, so there's this white plug back here that you uh, should just honestly just unplug it because it's going to be harder to try to unhook it from inside the steering wheel. So just unplug that white plug. And just like that, the steering wheel is off. All right, so up next, what you guys are going to want to do is start dissecting this pretty much. So there are four Phillips head screws. Uh, right here and that will take off the back piece of the steering wheel all right guys I almost forgot that there is this ground wire screwed right there and uh, you won't be able to take this apart without taking that off so Alright now once you get the back piece off, 
you're gonna see there are there's this clip right here this clip right here and then the rest are just like these they're kind of like clips but they're just pushed in so you're basically just gonna push those out this one and this one and then these little ones on the gray trim piece and then you should be able to pop out the whole control setup all in one piece Alright guys, so I actually went ahead and just took everything all apart, mainly because I want to get rid of this gray, so I'm going to literally just paint it black real quick. And I think I might do this gloss black as well. Alright guys, so I'm actually just going over these, uh, you know, uh, plastic pieces and this gray trim piece with a maroon scuff pad uh, just so that the paint can fully like stick and grab onto this um, I'm just gonna do a rattle can paint job I'm not I'm not really gonna do anything crazy but it's important to at least scuff uh, anything before you paint it so that the paint will actually last it'll have something to grab onto and it'll it'll last a much longer time than if you were to just paint it over. All right, so after you're done scuffing stuff down, you're just gonna wanna like get a little towel and probably rub it down with like some acetone, which is what I'm gonna be using just to get all the dust and stuff off of it. Alright guys, it's a new day and it's actually been quite some time since I've installed the steering wheel but if you look at it, it looks really great. Um, I love the build quality, I love how it feels. It feels great. Everyone who I have let drive my car tell me that they love how the steering wheel feels. Like just grabbing it right here, like that's like perfect. Um, uh, I love how I painted the trim black uh, I just feel like it looks way better than the gray or the silver that it came with however um, it is a little dirty right now um, but however I'm definitely thinking of getting those little fake carbon fiber overlays that go on the controls and the one that goes right here just so it kind of looks a little more I don't know just a little better honestly I really don't like this like empty gap looking thing like it's weird um, so I'm definitely gonna do that but besides that this thing looks great and it feels great and I get a ton of compliments I've actually had quite some people at car meets uh, tell me straight up like yo let me buy your steering wheel I'll buy it right now and I'm like bro I'm not selling my steering wheel <laughs> But yeah, overall, I think this is definitely a really dope mod. Uh, it's kind of an expensive mod, but I got a really good deal off of it. But if you have the extra money and you are thinking of getting one of these and wondering if it's worth it, I definitely do think it gives you a better driving experience because behind the wheel, uh, when you when you are holding on to this as you're driving, like if you track your car or something, it just gives you a nice like firm grip right here and you just you're in full control um it just feels great the carbon looks 
super great. Like it just looks so good, man. And it feels awesome. So that's it for today's install video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, there are uh, there, there's quite a few companies that make aftermarket carbon fiber steering wheels for the 10th gen Civics. And there's even some on Instagram uh, where you can actually customize it. That's initially what I wanted to do. I wanted to get the carbon how it is on this one but I wanted the grips to be that Alcantara suede. Um, but once I you know, got the opportunity to get this steering wheel, I just hopped on it because of how cheap it was and I don't regret it at all. Uh, I actually really like it. It's, it's awesome, it's perfect, honestly. Real quick, let me just introduce you guys to my daughter over here. Her name is Mochi and she is beautiful. <laughs> She's uh, she's a little sick right now or a little sore. We got all her vaccinations done and stuff. So she's just really chill right now. Otherwise, she'd be barking. But yeah, real quick, before closing out this video, I do want to let you guys know that this video you guys are watching right now and the last video where I installed the, uh, the hybrid racing short shifter, those videos were made back in May uh, of this year, 2021. And um, yeah, a lot has happened since then. After this video is uploaded, I'm going to be working on obviously newer content. And uh, as of right now, we are in November of 2021. So yeah, the next video should be pretty damn soon uh, as well, just because I really plan on getting back into this. But yeah, like I said, a lot has happened. Uh, things have changed a lot of things have changed so yeah stay tuned uh, things have changed for the better I think uh, things happen for a reason so definitely stay tuned uh, I just want to thank everyone who's been patient with me and patient with the channel uh, patient with me dropping videos because I've had a ton of people messaging me on Instagram like yo where are you what's going on when are you gonna upload a video and honestly like I said a lot has been happening nothing too bad but things have changed and when I say things have changed things have changed pretty drastically um, you guys will find out in the next video but until then but until then please make sure to like this video and if you guys are not subscribed please make sure to subscribe we are almost at a thousand subscribers we are literally hundred and fifty subscribers away from 1k and it's crazy to me the last time I actually checked my subscribers I only had 450 ish and one day my girlfriend just messaged me and she's like dude you have a ton of subscribers and I'm like what do you mean she sent me a screenshot of my uh, YouTube page I guess and um, yeah I have like 800 and something subscribers right now I believe I'm like at 850 851 um, so we are super close to hitting 1k and I didn't even realize it so I just want to take this time to really thank you guys for just being the best for being patient and for being you know I guess understanding you know some of you guys I know a lot of you guys are definitely understanding a lot of you guys that have hit me up uh, through Instagram some of you already know what's coming some of you don't but yeah I don't want to go into it too much I just want it to be more of a surprise alright guys I'm talking way too much so I'm gonna close the video out here uh, stay tuned for the next video that is gonna be coming soon there's going to be a huge reveal and uh, yeah I'm excited I hope you guys are too but until then don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and i will see you guys in the next video mochi you want to close out the video tell everybody to like comment share and subscribe mochi's a little shy